Hi, so today I'm going to show you how I do my basic makeup. So first of all, right, always have to apply a face primer. Why? Because uh, it actually helps to protect our skin, okay, from uh, getting clogged. At the same time, you'll make our skin smoother and then make the makeup last longer, okay? So just apply. Uh, normally, I'll apply five dots and then all over the face. Okay. Like that. You want to blend outwards and downwards, okay, because you don't want to clog your pores. So the next item after face primer, right, I always use um, our CC cream. Okay, this is my favorite CC cream. Um, this one, right, is uh, CC cream is actually a color corrector. So it helps to actually correct our um, face um, tone, okay, the skin tone. Normally, I'll pump out and then I'll blend with my fingers. You can use a, a foundation brush, okay, if you are someone that, you know, in the morning, you want to rush for time and then you can actually do this with your finger. Always remember, use your beauty finger, which is your third and fourth finger, and then you want to blend outwards and downwards okay if you see right i already apply half of my face and then instantly right you can see that it's brighter okay it's fairer compared to here okay here is a bit still like a bit uh, yellowish okay so after i blend out everything it will look nice okay so our makeup is always buildable if you are someone that don't know how to actually um, control right, how much foundation to put, you can always start by going a little bit and then add on if you need. So now you can see right, my face is um, balanced already. Okay, I use one pump for the whole face. Okay, for me, I don't usually use concealer because uh, I don't really have like that eye circle and all that to actually conceal. Okay. And I want to, uh, I like the more natural kind of makeup. And then today I'm just going to do a bit of like eyeshadow and all that, okay? Next, it will be uh, my eyebrow. Uh, I'm using this uh, precise brown liner, which is something I love a lot. Okay, for this one, right, it's very easy to actually draw on and then to shade your brown. How to actually draw your brown, right? Um, your starting of the brown, right, should be on par with your eye. Okay, then after that, right, your up should be around somewhere here, 45 degree. Okay, and then your end of the, um, the uh, tail, right, is like that. Okay? So if let's say you want to know more how to actually draw an eyebrow, you can actually DM me or I can send you other uh, videos that I've done earlier. Okay. Usually I'll draw the outline first. And then after that, I'll connect it to the back. I like to draw my eyebrow uh, slightly longer so you actually match and then be more balanced on the face itself. So without um the shape itself, right, my, eye, my face is like this. So with my outline it looks sharper and then instantly my face leave okay you can see there's a difference okay so eyebrow is very important then what you want to do uh go slowly stroke by stroke okay just fill in i want a very natural brown so this is what i do okay you just go gentle and then go stroke okay this is about it and then you can actually use the uh brush brow brow brush okay brow brush to actually uh comb it okay so this is the brush, uh, brow brush. So just gently, just comb it. And then this is my eyebrow done, okay? Okay, so what I'm going to do now, right, uh, today I'm actually sharing more like a basic makeup. So I'm going to do a one shade uh, eyeshadow that I learned from um, my mentor last week during a, her makeup um, Zoom. So I'm going to use this cocoa, okay. I'm using the anchor brush, it's uh, eye crease. Okay, you can see that this is um, my ankle, okay. So you want to dab. And then what I'm going to do, right, is on the triangle. To actually uh, change the shape of my eyes to make it more uh, round and almond okay everybody love uh, almond right so when you're doing eyeshadow you want to go light if you don't know whether you know uh, you have done this or you have not done this you are amateur like a beginner so you can actually go light and then add on our our makeup is buildable, that means you can add on colors. If let's say you go too in too harsh, right? Sometimes it's very hard to actually edit. So I would recommend you go lighter and then add on if needed, okay. Slowly blend in. And then you can see 
uh, slightly that this eye is more almond shaped compared to here and then it's more defined as well okay you can always use a mirror okay then just do it it'll be easier you have to see where you are actually doing okay look by looking at the phone itself i cannot really see the color but as i use my mirror i can actually see what i'm doing okay and then you slowly blend inwards now you can so now you can see this side more defined and it's round uh, more almond shaped compared to here and then if you see half my face this one is more defined my eyes is rounder and then this one it even even though my eyes are, is big right but the shape is not so almond okay so this is it then uh, i'm going to do the other side as well So now you can see right, my eyes is balanced. Try to balance both eyes always. Okay, after um this right, uh what I'm going to do right is uh I'm going to actually add eyeliner. I'm going to use this. This is our new um Mary Kay uh liquid uh waterproof liquid eyeliner in black. I'm just going to do a bit so that uh, my eyes is more defined. Okay, so if let's say right for eyeliner usually right you don't draw one straight line as a whole. Also, you have to do dot by dot. That means uh you can actually do bit by bit. Okay, then join the lines together. What you want to do, you find a mirror and then you go very near and then you see like this, okay? What I'm doing, okay? Like that. You can see that my eyes is even more defined, okay, with the eyeliner and the um, shading that the eyeshadow that I have actually done. So I'm going to do the same for the, the other eye as well. Always try to balance up both sides, okay? This is it. This is my eyes. So I think that this is pretty easy and then I can use this for a daily look. So this is something that I've learned and then I find that it's quite uh, easy to do because uh, last time I don't know how to actually do eyeshadow and or the eyeliner is fine but eyeshadow no. But uh, in Mary Kay, right, I actually learned a lot of eyeshadow skill. I've tried many eyeshadow look as well. So the next thing I'm going to use is our blusher. I like something more orangey so I'm going to actually use this which is the Juicy Peach and then I'm just going to dab, okay? This uh, brush that I'm using right is our cheek brush okay over here it's actually very good for um, people that you know don't know how to apply uh, blusher because of this um, like cutting the, the design of the brush it makes the um, blusher has the air uh, brush look okay as usual go uh, light okay you don't want to look like you know here very red okay so what you want to do you dab and then dab okay just like that and then if you think that it's not red enough, you can add. So this is one application. And because I'm doing something that uh, is more to daily, this will be my look. If you see, right, realize, right, when I apply my cheek color, this side instantly become lifted and then here is so flat. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do for the other side as well, like that. To balance up. If you don't know where your blusher should be, you can smile, okay, and uh, it's on the apple of the cheek, okay, like that. See, instantly it lifted and then uh, the face is not so flat anymore. And then after that, right, okay, I almost forget. Usually I'll do contouring on the nose. Uh, what uh, Kimi does is uh, my mentor, right, she actually use her finger. But for myself, right, I prefer to use a brush. So this brush I'm using is actually an eye uh, smudger. Okay, what I'm going to do, right, I'm going to just add uh, this. Uh, you can actually use this tone if, let's say, you are okay. If not, right, you can go for the lighter shade. We have a latte, okay. I'm going to try this. I've not tried this before, this shade. But uh, we can always do blending. What I always do, right, I will actually do this side because my nose is bit flat okay and then i'm going to do one side for y'all to see after i contour right uh my nose become more 3d okay always go light ah uh. i only dot one dot okay we can see instantly right this side where i actually contour my nose it becomes more defined and 3d and then it looks like my and then it looks like my nose right is actually very sharp okay you see here it's still flat hey, we are here it's still flat you can see right so what you want to do that one time as well i start from this side because my this side is more um uh, flat the nose bridge there is more flat okay i will always blend outwards to my eyebrow 
you can see now it's more balanced okay so my nose is more uh, defined now if you think that uh, it's not defined enough you can actually add on just one that then you can just blend again okay never never go too um, dark first because after that you'll look like uh, I don't know like Oprah okay okay so So this is it, okay? You can see that I have a nose now, okay? And after that, I'm going to use uh, this um, highlighter, okay, to actually put on here, okay, this side of my nose using my finger because uh, I think that using a brush, it might not, you know, go where I want. So to actually highlight the bridge of my nose. And if you want, you can actually highlight here as well, okay? Of course, on the face, we also need to use the highlighter to actually uh, make our face um, look more glowy, right? Uh, what you can do using the same um, cheek brush, instead of the area that you use for your cheek color, you use the other side, okay? The top part, with that, okay? What I do is I swipe like that on top of my um, blusher, okay? So you have that. So you have that very natural glow as I was saying. So both sides. Okay. So this is it. My makeup is done. You can do a bit of here on the T zone as well. Okay. So this is my makeup look. But of course, need to finish with a lip uh, stick. Uh, what uh, I'm going to use today, right, is actually our uh, new lip balm. Okay. Um, in May, usually it's our Mary Kay's birthday, so we have this charity. Uh, thing that we are doing with one of the products so this uh, month is actually on the lip balm itself okay so now on the lips itself uh, what I want to use right is uh, I want to use just the uh, lip balm the charity lip balm that is new that's two shades I'm going to use the one that is in berry because today I'm actually having a zoom meeting later zoom training later so this is just going to actually like brighten my look okay the lip balm will change color according to our skin so Everyone, right, uh, although wearing the same lip balm, you actually has a different shade, slightly different shade, okay? It's very moisturizing, and then I really love how it glides on my lips, okay? If, let's say, you are keen on getting any of the products that I've shared earlier on, do drop me a message. If you want to learn more on how I do on the eyes, do drop me a message as well, okay? Thanks for watching.